Hi, this is Catherine Rosen with Board Game Geek. I'm sitting here with Paolo Saladade and Nuno Bizarro Santiago from What's Your Game? And they're the designers behind Nippon. Yes. So please tell me about the game. You start. Oh, okay. you start. So Nippon, it's a game about the industrial revolution in Japan. We started from the team. So uh, it's a game about the revolution, the characteristics of the fast revolution of Japan. So it's you're trying to, players are Zaibatsu, so big conglomerates, big companies. So they're trying to develop the, their companies, trying to get the most industries and factories and trying to produce goods and doing this uh, very fast uh, in order to uh, supply the demand supply the in demand the cities of, of Japan. Japan. Yes, because everything was produced outside of Japan and what we are trying to recreate here is start to produce everything inside Japan. So and as to keep the, the economy going and yeah, strong, right? Exactly, yes. exactly. It's an economic game. It's a medium paced. heavy, but very fast paced. Okay. We wanted it to be really fast because the uh, thematically the revolution, the industrial revolution in Japan was really fast, yeah, different from the others. Yeah. So it happened really quickly. So we wanted to fill that in the to game. Start getting yes. going, and so when they finally did get going, then. Yeah. Exactly, you know your history. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they went abroad, they bring the best scholars in the... I heard about this recently, yeah. yeah, and they brought them back. And you simulate that also in the game. The scholars came and they go to you, your Zaibatsu, and they do stuff for you, for your Zaibatsu. Yeah. So you're trying to get technology and knowledge from abroad in order to develop your nation. So the, the board represents the foreign uh, influence in Japan, and we're trying to substitute the foreign uh, influence by the Zaibatsu influence. So, so you're getting the uh, the brought in people to be able to teach your yeah, your locals yes, so yes. that they can continue it on. Right? Yes, yes, that's the point. Yes, and uh, so uh, as Nuno was saying, the game is very fast paced. It's an action selection game. Okay, you have all the workers here. Let's just say they are workers. They are scholars actually, and you just take one, for example, and place it in your Zaibatsu as he is now working for you and you execute one of the actions. It's very, very simple. In the game you can only do two things. So take a worker and perform the action, so it's really fast. Or consolidate. Consolidate, it's like you're getting your income, your raw materials, your knowledge, yes. and you're paying for your workers. Okay? Yeah. That's the big part uh, of the game. So you're trying to optimize your, your Zaibatsu, trying to get good industries, better industries, mechanize them, have the better person working for you in order to get even bigger and try to control the land, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. one of the players earlier was asking me what is very special about this game and I was thinking a bit and what we think is special yeah. about the game is the tempo. So each yes. player has his own timing yes. to do stuff, okay? So, and the consolidation part is exactly that. You choose exactly when you want to get your money, your resources, your income, and, and that's a big part of the game. Your so building up time. and then choosing when the time is right to get yes. more resources yes. to then use to build up more, yes, right? Exactly. exactly. Also Temple. the tempo of the game, the scoring is triggered by the players, okay? So the turns, the rounds advance whenever the, the action box is empty, that uh, nipple, the first row goes here. So there's no more to refill these moves. So it's also the players who control the timings of the game, the, the tempo of the game. Not only yeah. their decisions on the Zaibatsu, but also on the game. So there will be three scorings of majorities mm -hmm. in, the, in the board, in each era. The game will be a little longer here, and it will become faster, and then it ends with three rounds only. So three actions per player. It's, very so it's really fast at the end. Very fast at the end, yes. And another great thing that usually players like a lot, like we do, is that you, you can invest in all the industries you want in the game. Yeah. And each one of these industries, yes. for example, this one is a bento box. So you, you're, yes, <laughs> it's true. food. Yeah. <laughs> so you invest in food. So, and each one of these industries have a special, a particular uh, ability. ability. If you choose that one over another one, a different one, so you have a different here. ability and you play differently. Okay. So, and it's very fun, we think. So adding because more variability to the game. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, because this industry can interlock with this one and you can do synergies between companies. 
like in real life, like in the Zaibatsu, so the, the big corporations. Yes. And this also relates to the acknowledge of the Emperor. There are some bonus that the Emperor gives you that also score in the end of the game mm -hmm. that are really helpful defining the strategy of your industry. Yeah. So you need raw materials to produce, you need uh, factories in which to produce. <laughs> yeah, and the key word, money. Yes, money, <laughs> knowledge, you need everything. Yeah. And then you try to take over Japan. Yeah, yeah. So how many players does it play? Two, two, four. Two to four. Two to four, yeah. and, and so you said it was fast paced. Yes, it's very fast paced. So how long? It's one hour and a half, two hours. That's but it feels really fast because every time everyone yeah, ends always. the game, it's like, okay, already? Because it's almost always your turn. Yeah, yeah. It's a continuous That's cycle. Nice. Turns are very fast, yes. And in a two player game, which is very good because we are two designers, so we <laughs> test a lot with two. The game must be good for two players. <laughs> and it's uh, faster, obviously. Yeah. It's uh, about, I don't know. 60 minutes. 70 minutes, yeah. probably. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you so much. That is Thank you. from Thank you for uh, What's Your Game and Paolo Soldado and Nuno Budaro Santiago. Yeah? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That was I'm really still Mike, right? Yes, I cannot say here. stupid things now. <laughs> <laughs>